Yo, 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 what's happening, my people? Before we start, I'm going to just say one thing. Is Javi Clips or you getting clipped, you heard? Let's get into this video. First thing we're doing is parting out his hair with the pins. That way we don't have to mess with any of his hair coming down or anything like that. Now we're just going to use our trimmers and we're going to start with the eyebrow. We're going to connect that into the haircut as well. And we're just going to make a line going up and above above and around his ear really simple y'all don't make it too complicated and don't make it too thick use your trimmers as a draft you feel me if you want to make it thicker if you do really want to make it thicker you gotta do that with the razor that's when you make it really nice now we're gonna go in with our no guard and this is gonna go with our lever close so what you want to do is you want to go up and around the ear up to the front of his hook my camera died, but you're going to see how it looks like. You see that up and around his ear, but you still leave a little bit of hair in the front. So that way his shape up is still going to be dark and it's going to show. Then right after you hit it with that, you hit it with the trimmers and you bolt everything out as I did right here. To really make it really bald, then you have to go in with your foil shavers. You feel me? Make that, mm, make that really clean. Make sure to also scoop out. You don't want to leave a hard line. Also, use your corners with the foil shavers as well. Because my camera died, though, we also go in with my no guard. I'm showing you right now. And you're just going to go up about an inch after that bald line that you made, right? So, that's all you're doing. Following that same guideline an inch above, right? So, now I'm going to go with my one guard. And we're going to go first with our open lever about an inch using our corner you just saw me go change my lever you just saw me change my lever real quick and i'm slowly progressing down mind you i want to make this fade as compressed as i can i don't want to i don't want to stretch this fade out i want to keep it as tight as i can so i'm using my corners use your corners y'all i'm going with my note or when my one guard open lever to my one guard midway level to my one guard closed lever and i'm still using my corners every time i change the position of my lever i always go down and closer to the line that i'm trying to fade out you see that right here i'm still using my guard i'm did this exact same thing i did on the sides i'm gonna do on the back so right here i'm gonna use my three guard same exact thing i'm gonna use my corners my three guard open to my three guard midway open to my three guard close and every single time i change that lever i slowly go down in the head i slowly progress down in the fade same thing with my number two guard what did i just say open midway and then close every time you change the position of your lever you go lower into the fade trying to fade that out so right here all i'm doing right now is taking out that ball line that i did i'm using my wall seniors and these are the best clippers i swear these are the magic clips they just get so close into the skin and that's something about the babyliss that they just can't do maybe after zero gap them let me know but same exact thing no guard open to no guard midway to no guard close the lever every time you close the position of your lever that's when you go lower and you descend into that fade trying to take whatever line you're trying to take out look at that it's already coming to life and even here i still use my my um my corners as well i don't want to create a crazy line or anything like that so i'm using my corners and if you do see a little spot that needs a little bit more time honestly like right above behind his ear it's looking a little patchy right but i'm not gonna stress i'm gonna just keep it pushing i'm not gonna spend so much time on one little thing and then the haircut is gonna take me like two hours to do an hour and 30 minutes papa you got things to do you in the barber shop you busy i'm busy i'm not gonna spend more than 10 minutes matter of fact i'm not gonna spend more than like five minutes on one little piece of his head i'm gonna keep it pushing and that's what you should do and then at the end that's when you do all your detail work don't worry about the time because that time is gonna come with experience you've seen me from the beginning of my youtube journey to right now you're gonna continue to see me growing
And moving on to our half guard or your point five guard or your 16th guard or whatever you want to call it We're gonna do the exact same steps in order to remove the line that we created from our no guard and our one guard that in between line right we're gonna do the exact same steps using our corners every single time you change the possession the position of your lever that's when you go and descend down into the fade but you're gonna see right here that doesn't always work i didn't take that line out that i was trying to take out and you see that so i'm gonna go back to my no guard and guess what i'm gonna use my corners please use your corners I've struggled with this from the beginning and I learned from my mistakes and I keep growing and I want to keep growing and I hope you want to keep growing with me. Every single cut that I do, every single mistake that I do, you're going to see. I, I don't want you to go through this. I want you to excel and be better than me. You feel me? Now we're just going and doing our little detail work. I felt like the top was a little too bulky. So I'm going to go back with my two guard. Just clear that bulk up a little bit And mind you, like I said, I want this fade to be really tight So I'm not gonna use my full blade I'm gonna use just the corner And I'm gonna knit and pick out little dark areas of the fade If you're using a guard And you see that it's not taking anything out Or it's not blending it out Or the fade isn't gone or anything Change your guard Lower your lever It's gonna make a big difference Don't be afraid to cut off hair Because when I was starting in the game i will give these like really non-crispy non-contrasty haircuts because i was afraid to cut off too much hair you gotta take off more hair than what you think you feel me and it's all about experience it's all about technique you see me using my corners and you could also see me using my like flicking out at the end you can't really see it as much because i'm not exaggerating but there's a slight little movement of flick at the end of each stroke so that way i won't create a line the back of the head is always i don't I, how, how do i say this the back of the head always has denser hair follicles than the side so what i would say in the back is to just do the exact same thing that you did on the sides but you can use a lot more of your blade than just the corner the same exact steps you go with your three guard you slowly change the lever and you descend down into that bottom bold line and then you change it to your two same exact steps that you descend every time you change your lever and then you go with your one and a half your two and you keep going it's just a matter of routine it's a matter of practice and once you have your own practice once you have your own little routine you do for each haircut you're gonna get faster now all i'm doing is just taking out that bottom line so over here on the side it was really interesting because i started this out as a skin almost like a burst taper i would say you see me creating that upside down v that's kind of what you do or that's how you start off a burst taper but you do it a little bit higher but in my case i but in my case i didn't have that much room to fade out so i created that bald line a little bit lower at the top of his ear where his crease starts between his ear and his head that's why i started it out so now i'm gonna go with my no guard open and i'm gonna just go all the way up to that design that i made up to that line and then i'm slowly going and changing the lever so when i go with my no guard halfway open i'm gonna go a little bit lower and then when i go with my no guard closed i'm gonna start at that line and mind you every single time I st I'm still using my corners You feel me? And I looked at the fade But I didn't really like it I'm gonna keep it a buck with you I didn't like how it sat with the design So I started out a new bald line This bald line is a little bit slanted though I'm, I'm, That's what I wanted You know? I want it to be in the shape of the design I want it to flow with the design So now, same exact steps No guard open No guard halfway open And then your no guard closed Every single time you change the position of your lever You descend down into that fade You descend down into that bald line look at that still using my corners still making sure everything is nice and faded out as best to my abilities that i can within this small space and honestly this should be more than enough to fade that out 
I'm still using so I as you saw right there I used my no guard fully open and I used it all the way at that bottom of that design right here I'm just fading that dark spot into that side of his head into that nice dark side of his head same exact steps I always do with my three you change the lever you descend into that bottom of the fade two guard and then you're one and a half guard and you keep descending into the guards until you feel like you've done enough to really get that line out and you see that big line right there right you see it I see it everyone sees it no one wants to walk around with that big line there one guard putting in that work it's that quick it's that simple this I feel is like the easiest way to fade out without leaving any lines at all just make sure to flick out every single time every single time you finish that stroke at the end of your stroke make sure to flick out so that way you don't create any lines you know what people call that C cup motion that's what you do now I'm going with my trimmers and for him my boy Gene he doesn't want his beard he has a great beard, it looks fire on him, I've done his beard before, but he doesn't want it. He's going with that goatee and mustache. Whew. One good thing I want to say about some photo shavers is, it saves you so much time. If I were to shave all of that off, it would take me so much time. When you do the lineup, when you do that C cup on the shape up, make sure to use both hands. You see me using both hands. I'm using my left hand as an anchor, as a balancing point, and my right hand is what I'm using to curve it. You feel me? It's almost like a pencil. I have really shaky hands. That's why I use two hands. If, if I was nice with it, I would use one hand blindfolded with my feet tied together. <laughs> you feel me? But I can't do that because I'm not that nice. And I know my limits and I'm not going to do something that I, I don't know what to do. With the mustache, we're going to make the ends pointed. So at the end of the mustache, we're going to make it slightly thinner than what it's going to be in the middle. That way it just doesn't look like a thick bar, just like a thick bar of hair. <laughs> you feel me? You see right here? I'm just using that corner to thin up that, that corner up just a little bit, just a little bit. Still using both hands. You know, using that right hand to kind of balance everything out. Both hands again. You feel me? Both hands. Like I said, this is really important if you're a beginner barber. So take your time. Envision everything in your head. Take your time. Within time, you're just going to get that experience. And I'm just shaving all. All the extra hairs that I don't need I'm gonna run that over with the foil shavers invest in some good quality equipment because it's it's just gonna make everything so much easier you don't have to go back and rework on things you know those babylas foil shavers cost me like $200 but it saves me so much time so it's an investment everything you buy for yourself is an investment think about it that way yeah you spent $200 but you're gonna make like more than that in in the week you know you're gonna make at least triple that in this week and remember this if you're not succeeding in this business it's not because of everyone else it's because of you i'm talking to you i was in the same position you are i'm not i'm not but i was you feel me i was in the same position you are i have barely had any clients but i kept on grinding the only reason why you're down is the only person you gotta blame is yourself g you sitting there doing nothing sitting there all day get up bro. <laughs> get up bro i'm working this hard so you see and get inspired by me i want to move on and do bigger and better things and i need you to be on this journey with me watch my videos watch other videos you know get better at customer service talk to your people better be more on time be punctual with everything invest in yourself if you're not investing in yourself no one's gonna invest in you kings i'm gonna keep it a straight buck with you right now you're i still love you though <laughs> this is just some tough love <laughs> just some tough love but i i really haven't been investing in myself for the past like months either it's i changed shops 
In terms of investing in myself, I haven't been on my YouTube grind as much because it, there's just been a lot going on. This whole six months has been a whole movie, son. But I'm back and I'm getting better, yeah? More weekly videos coming and I'm gonna just keep making sure all my people get the right information and give out these quality cuts. Cause if it's not Javi Clips, you gang clips. As that point, this haircut is coming out. This not even coming. This haircut is fire. This haircut is dummy fire, bro. You catching a frank if you tell me this is something else besides fire. And this is my favorite part, son. When I show the reveal of the cut, and my client is just a hundred percent excited. Ooh, yo, I'm telling you, I love cutting hair. Not not because I like pampering my client, which is cool and all, but. I just love the art of it. This is what my boy was looking like before. Blank canvas, didn't have a haircut for a minute. We're artists, so you know what we do as artists? We create and we inspire. And I hope this cut inspired my mans to be whole ready to be Ooh, look at that, bro. Mid, low skin fade. With a design on the side, a gold T, mustache, I brought my son Rico Suave right now, you already know. Subscribe, you want more videos, I'll keep you updated daily. You need me, catch me at the trim lounge, you